This was one continued failure which has been going on for years. Under these circumstances, it was bound to happen. Very long hours on guard, soldiers doing mostly police work, stopping drug smuggling, and their reliance on the Egyptians without considering the hostile elements inside the Egyptian security forces. All that is needed is a lack of alertness just once for it all to end in tragedy. We feel as if this probe is incomplete and does not provide clear answers to all of the failures exposed. The probe into the series of incidents in which three IDF soldiers were killed was presented by the IDF on Tuesday evening, and it's not one the army can be very proud of. The soldiers on the border were on guard for 12 hours straight, despite various previous calls to shorten the shifts. No one told them of the gates that are left practically open, allowing IDF forces to cross into Egypt if necessary, but also allowing for infiltrations into Israel. Only their commanders knew about them. The trackers first concluded the terrorist returned to Egypt even though he was still in Israeli territory and once he was located, some of the forces storming him had no helmets on and were hurt. Those forces decided to storm him despite the lack of aerial support. That support did not come even hours after the initial shooting. We still have many questions waiting for answers. It's true that some top officials were sanctioned. But that is not the most important thing. Yes, some high-ranking officers are being punished. A brigade commander will be removed from his post, something that has not happened for 20 years. It should be noted that this is the commander who eventually killed the terrorist, but there was a series of failures in his conduct prior to that. A battalion commander has also been sanctioned and his promotion will now be delayed. None of that will bring any of the soldiers back. The big question is what the army will learn from this for the future. This incident should have been avoided. The decisions we will make from now on will prevent similar incidents in this arena and from that direction. More than anything, it should be noted that even if it is called a border of peace, it is far from peaceful and should be treated as such.